And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off we just had finished our conversation with the water merchants, um, who unfortunately, if I understood it correctly, can only supply our vault for 100 days. And they want 2000 bottle caps for that, but we only have mere 837 bottle caps, so... That's might, that might not be the best option. However, um, she also mentioned Necropolis and that the people in the, there apparently refuse to trade with the water merchants and therefore most probably have an independent and reliable source of water. So we, we, should, we shall try to go to Necropolis then, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's not waste our money on the water merchants. We are also looking for a mutant called Harold, who should be in Old Town. Um, I don't actually know where we are right now. But I don't, I don't think this is Old Town. Uh, well, let's still, let's have a look around. Okay. All, all these bookcases here seem to be empty. Um, but as, as I've already mentioned, these bookcases are also quite handy because you can use them to store away your items. Um, this will become relevant later when we'll, when we'll go to... Um, The Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, any... I think we haven't been in this building here. Or have we? No, I don't think we have. Okay, where's the... Ah, it's some sort of church. Whoa. Are they dead? No, they are unheard. Okay, can I talk to them? Oh mercy, holy flame! Oh mercy! You see, Thorn died. Let's talk to him. Because why not? Sir, you're injured. I can treat you if you wish. I'm a healer. Hmm. What's this place about? You are injured. Save the usual conversation for later. Le please let me heal you. Ah. Uh, I'd really like to know about this. You're breaking my concentration. Do we wish to be healed or not? <laughs> what are you getting so upset about? When I ask someone to do something, I do not expect to be ignored. If you choose to ignore my wishes, I can ignore your injuries. Goodbye. Yeah, doesn't seem to be... Um Yeah, doesn't seem to have much patience. I still remember your insult, sir. You can rot in the glow before I treat you. And he will not treat us, but we can probably steal from him. But he has nothing in his inventory. And there's a man in a funny looking robe. Maybe it's a girl, actually. Uh, will, I, will you mind when I just go around and steal you? Oh, it's locked. Okay. But this is not locked. Can I steal... Can I loot your bookcase? It's empty. Okay. Let us maybe not... Uh, well, let's bother them. Let's actually bother them. Let's bother them. Hello, Jane. Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? Uh, <laughs> I'm, in I'm interested in your church, and I want some information. Do you have any pamphlets? Continue to mock me, and I will have you thrown out. Uh, 
But I'm not mocking you. Honest. Then why are you here? What would bring you to the children of the cathedral? <laughs> I need to know how to burn this place down. So I was looking for structural weaknesses. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I'm a seeker of knowledge. I would like to learn more. Are you a child? <laughs> Lady, do I look that junk to you? No. I am a devout believer. Then you should know better than to be here. I would caution you about your manners. Leave. Okay. She doesn't like to be bothered, apparently. Hmm. Was that? Wait. Ah, that's the em was the empty building. Okay. Uh, that was the water merchant's building. But there was one room which we haven't been in yet. Which was this one. Hmm. Taking quite a while to get there. Okay. Yeah, these bookshelves will probably be empty. What a surprise. Hmm. Okay, let us talk to this caravan driver. Hi, if you're looking for a job on one of our caverns, you should talk to the master merchant. She's in a building to the east. Hmm. Probably this building then. Uh, no, we have been in that building, I guess. Oh, and that is west. Okay, that was silly. Yeah. Uh, never mind. <clears throat> Let us then try to go to Old Town. Uh. Okay, how do I get to the next part of the hub? Hmm. Okay, not here. Uh, maybe there? Hmm. I sort of remember the, the hub being a lot bigger. But I guess my memory could deceive me. Mm, I think we have to go back. Hmm. I think we have to go back. Uh, Old Town then probably is that way. It would seem so. Uh, hmm. Hello, police officer. Ah, poor Harold, he's had a rough life. Okay, Harold should be in here then, I suppose. Okay, that's not Harold, that's a peasant. A peasant, a peasant pleasant peasant. Uh, yeah, I, s I vaguely remember this building from my first playthrough. Let us know not go in this Let us not enter this building And this is Slappy that is um, the other person we were told who might have seen the death claw But apparently went insane. Oh He's just insane and made it up. Okay. Ooh, Pretty Pretty stuff. Why is the moon? Uh, Beth told me to talk to you about the death claw. Beth, Beth, shoo, sha, Beth. Like Harold. You talk Harold. Harold tell you story. Slappy head then. Okay, I'll talk. Go talk to Harold first. I guess he's in this building. Uh, boogie, boogie, boogie.
We see Harold. He looks unhurt. Spare change, sure. old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> uh. Yeah, he has uh, 25 caps. Good luck to you. Oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Uh, why is that? <laughs> Rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. Hmm. What happened to you? Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew. Long time. Hmm. Tell me more about those days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. Then I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Hmm. Where was your vault located? You know, <laughs> I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, the east? Oh, I don't know what. Mm. <laughs> what did you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. How? <laughs> uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Hmm. Where did the mutants come from? Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the Northwest. Hmm. <laughs> you fart in Northwest? <laughs> no. Uh, did you explore this area? We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Hmm. Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. And what was that source? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. Hmm. How did you know this base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Did you examine the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And what happened then? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then it was just me and Gray. Hmm. What happened to Mark? To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I couldn't face the wasteland again, so I... I never looked. Hmm. Interesting. What about you and Gray, then? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What happened? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. Hmm. How did you survive? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. How did you mutate? All I know is it was something inside that base. Could have been the radiation. How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Hmm. 
Thanks well, for the story. Thanks for letting me tell it. Okay, and when we come back, folks, we shall yeah continue to talk to Harold. So until next time, folks, until um, then.